Recently, I spent a week traveling up the west coast of America, where I explored the Hollywood Hills. Amazing view. Tell you what it needs. Massive pile on. Found deer on the streets of Monterey Bay. Visited some of my long lost family, and hopefully took some real nice photos. If you don't already know, I'm on a trip around the west of the US shooting a load of film on my Nikon F100. While I'm out here, I'm trying to take the sort of photos I'd put in a book, and I'm also trying to figure out why America's so weird. So after nearly destroying my camera in San Francisco, sparring with the bears in Yosemite, and experiencing the weird vibes of Joshua Tree, we were finally on our last leg of our trip starting with LA. staying in someone's home in the Hollywood Hills, so after trying and failing to get anything good that night, we headed out to a viewpoint first thing in the morning, where I probably got a couple of my favourite shots from LA. I didn't realise this was our car. This lens is filthy and dusty now, but it'll do.
After making the most of blue and golden hour, we scuttled down to Hollywood Reservoir, where we made friends with some wildlife. Later, we go to two places that remain two of my favorite places from the whole trip. But for now, we head out to Venice Beach, where I was hoping to relive my Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 years. To be honest, I was trying to get my shutter speed lower on these shots, but it was a real bright day and my ND filter just wasn't going to do enough for me. Venice Beach was weird to say the least, and to be honest, I got a few okay shots, but nothing crazy. But this begins our trip from LA towards Santa Barbara, and from this point, I'm surprised by pretty much every stop along the way.
done it. No, because I want to be straight on to it. What do you think of the new place? I really like it. It's pretty nice, huh? Look at this. You can see the thing. The morrow. The morrow rock. This was definitely one of my favorite stops of the whole trip. Morrow Bay feels a bit more down to earth than the other coastal spots. And it's obviously got the amazing focal point that is Morrow Rock.
It was really cool to visit here, especially since I'd watched Willem Verbeek shooting here a few years ago, and now he and my dumbasses on the other side of the world shooting it as well. This spot is unreasonably photographable, and once I'd shot here, I didn't think it would be topped by our next stop, but damn baby, I've been wrong before. So after a quick stop to visit my brethren, we were well on our way to our last and most memorable stop, Monterey Bay. I don't know about you, but where I'm from, it's not that common to see deer just walking through town. And to be honest, I kind of thought that would be the pinnacle. Like, what an amazing thing to see. But with the sun going down, we thought we'd head out for one last walk down by the beach. Sometimes, in photography, you get luck. But luck is the result of being nice. there. You gotta be out there with your camera or no luck happens. And as luck would have it, these are some of the photos that I really love from the trip. Alongside a lot of other ones. But these ones really stand out to me. It's kind of blue hour and it just has such a mood to it. So there you have it, the last video of an amazing US trip. And since it is the last video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Usually I would go over the top five photos from this part of the trip. And then I would talk about why I think they're good and why I'm putting them in specific places. But this time I'm going to go over my top five from the entire trip. So if you've not watched any of the videos before, and you've only watched this one, then at least you'll get a little bit of a taste for what the rest of the trip was like. And just so you know, the way that I am rating these pictures is based on my own style and what I wanted to achieve. It's not me saying these are the best photos ever or anything like that. These are the photos that I wanted to create and the kind of style that I wanted to shoot with. Also, just so you know, place that I'm shooting in right now 
is not great for getting the right light. There's a tree directly outside my window, which the sun shines onto, and then I get like a green hue on me and everything looks ridiculous. There's not much I can do about it right now because I haven't got any space in here and it's very difficult. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try and give you a top five photos from the whole trip. So obviously we start off at number five. This is a photograph that I love. It's really simple, but I feel so lucky to have come across it. I usually try my best to figure out how to get a more interesting photo when it comes to landmarks. And this dude just sort of planted himself on the spot. I've said before, I could probably have gotten closer to him and that would have probably made it a better photo. But generally, I would say that this is pretty solid and I really like it. I love that he's wearing colors that stand out from the background. Everything looks really well. Okay, number four. This is, this is tough, this is not easy. But I'm gonna go with this shot from Yosemite, or to be precise, Oakhurst. It's so simple, but sometimes you've just gotta be thinking creatively and be there when the light's right. And I just love how unnerving this shot feels. It just feels really weird. And I do think it's a really good shot. I think it feels kind of like when you're watching like a nature documentary and then it's like video from like a satellite that's going around the earth and you can see the sun rising over the earth. It's exactly the kind of vibe I was going for. So I'm really, really pleased with it. Yep, this is this is tough, but we're on number three and we're just going for it. We're just going to go for it. This is one from our first day in San Francisco. It's blue hour. There's a tiny bit of movement from the car and there's just so much moodiness to the image. Once again, it was really hard to choose between all these shots, but sometimes a shot does just jump out at you, and this one does it for me. It's atmospheric and those sorts of things, the moodiness, the atmosphere, the dreamlike qualities are the exact things that I am going for when I'm shooting. So it's number two. This is hard, this is intense. This is intense. This is like a... I don't know what this is like. I'm gonna have to go with one from from the latest video because it just feels wrong to not put one in. But I do feel like this fits and this is right. So I'm gonna go with one from Monterey Bay. The whole feel from this is obviously kind of similar to the last one. But with this one, I just love how those telephone wires are like leaning in to the house almost like they're kind of holding the house up. On the right side, we've also got these lights coming in from the car, obviously on the main road. And again, a lot of moodiness, big vibes, dreamlike quality. I love it. But for number one, we're actually gonna go into something completely different. And it's this one of Katie at Morrow Bay. And it's probably not one that would go into a book, but, it is exactly how I wanted to shoot. And of course, Katie is the subject. This is a great memory from an amazing trip. And most of the filming for these videos was done by Katie. If there's a video of me, it's done by Katie. And also she puts up with me stopping every few minutes and taking a while to take a photo and just like being up for having a video made when we're going traveling, like it does take a lot more time out of your day than you would think it would. So first place goes out to Katie. So there we are. Can you believe it? The end of the US road trip. It's been amazing. It's been amazing to share it with Katie. It's also been amazing to kind of share it with you guys and actually put out there with the work that I'm doing as well in terms of photography. And as much as I know that I have a smaller platform than, than some people do, I still feel proud and I'm very, very uh, grateful for every single person that takes the time to watch all my videos. I know not all my videos are gonna be for everyone, but you can never make everyone happy. For those of you that enjoy it, 
And when people take the time out to let me know that they're enjoying things that I'm doing, you don't realize how much of a difference that can make to someone in my position where I'm, you know, still a relatively small creator. So I hope it has a positive impact on your day. Every single view, like, comment, anything like that has a big impact on my day as well. So believe it or not, although the US trip is over, it's the beginning of a much larger trip. So I'm very excited to start releasing videos for that in the coming weeks. For those amazing people that have made it all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to start doing something that I used to do quite often, and that is to suggest a song at the end of a video. Today, the song is a song called Psycho by Jack Rittle. Amazing country song. Me and Katie were loving it on the way back from America, and we pretty much rinsed it. There you go. Take care. Lots of love. Have a brilliant week, and I'll see you next time.